Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make another beaded hair barrette. If you haven't seen my first and my second hair barrette video, I will leave links to both videos down there in the description bar so you guys can check that out. So I was sent these super tiny hair barrettes from a lovely lady. Her name is Tammy. And thanks again, Tammy, for sending me these. I've really enjoyed playing with them. Um, Tammy has a whole bunch of these hair barrettes, and I measured them. They are an inch and a half long, and they're so tiny that she didn't know what to do with them and I could see how this could be challenging because they are super small. Now these hair barrettes here that I've been working on are three inches so these are half the size. So I've been playing with these a lot and I've discovered that I can do the same things with the tiny ones that I've already done with the big, one, big ones. I just have to change the size of the beads and also I won't be using as many beads. So my first video I used uh, the beads here. These sizes are 6 millimeter rounds for the base. To fill in the edges I used 6 OC beads. For the top I used 4 millimeter uh, bicones and then I used 11 OC beads on the very top. So to get a small barrette what I did is I used 4 millimeter beads for the base. These are fire polished. And then I put 3 millimeter bicone crystals on top and then instead of doing two different size C beads I just had to use 11 OC beads so this is what they look like they are super tiny very sparkly and they're just so cute I really love them so again I made this the same exact way the little ones as I've made the big ones I just had to change the bead size now if you guys want to make the miniature version of this barrette I will leave down there in the description bar, all the materials you will need, the amount, the length of your beading wire, everything you will need to make the miniature size. So look down there if you want to do the miniature size. Now in the second barrette video I did, I used square flat beads. So I went through my bead stash and I found these square flat beads that are the same width as the barrette. And I've had these beads for a very long time. So I just put five of them on here and I made the same design that I did here. It's just a miniature version. So you can do the same things with the little barrettes that I've already done with the big ones. You just have to change the size of the beads and also the amounts. You're not going to be using as many beads. And of course you won't need as much thread because these are a lot smaller. So for this video I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome new barrette. This one I really love this barrette because everybody's going to have the materials to make this one. So I'm going to clean this off and show you the barrette that I'm going to make in this video. I'm going to show you how to make barrettes with seed beads. So these three barrettes here I've done with Delicas. The first barrette I used my Yuki Delicas and the bottom two I used Toho Treasures. Now you don't have to use Delicas to make these barrettes. You can use regular shaped seed beads. They don't have to be a cylinder shape and they can be different name brands like my Yuki or Toho and even Czech seed beads. You just need to make sure that your beads are uniform in size and shape. And you can put these seed beads on any size barrette you want. So the first two are my three inch barrettes and the bottom one here I did one and a half inch. So in order to do the different sizes you just have to change the width of the seed beads, the amount you're using in a row to fit the top of your barrette. Okay? So now I'm going to tell you the list of materials you will need to make the three inch barrette and also the materials you will need to make the inch and a half. Here is the list of materials you will need to make a one and a half inch barrette. So this is the very small size. You will need four feet of eight pound fire line and when you first start this stitch you will leave a six inch tail. Now I'm using eight pound instead of six pound because eight pound is stronger than six and it also goes through the 11-0 Delica's really good. So I really recommend to use the eight pound for the strength. You're also going to need a size 12 beading needle. And you're also going to need 11 O seed beads, and I'm using my Yuki Delicas. And of course you're going to need the one and a half inch barrette. Now this is the materials for the small barrette, and now I'm going to tell you the materials you will need for the large one. Here is the list of materials you will need to make the three inch barrette. You will need nine feet of eight pound fire line, and you will leave an eight inch tail when you first start weaving. You will also need a size 12 beading needle, and you're also going to need 11 O seed beads, and I like to use Mayuki Delicas, and I also like to use Toho Delicas. And of course, you're also going to need the 3-inch barrette 
to bead on. So this is the list of materials for the 3 inch barrette. To make the top of the barrettes, I'm actually going to do the square stitch, but I'm not going to do it the traditional way. I'm going to change it up a bit. Now, if you think in regular peyote, you do one seed bead at a time. Well, you can also do two drop peyote, where you do two seed beads at a time. So, with the square stitch, instead of, instead of doing one seed bead at a time to make this process quicker, I'm going to do two seed beads. Now, if you're doing the smaller barrette, you will have to do uh, four seed beads in each row, so you can cover the very top of your barrette. In the three inch barrette, I had to do six to cover the top, okay? So first we're gonna make a beaded strip the same length as our barrette, and then once that's done, then we're gonna connect it to the barrette. The small barrette is quicker to make, so I will be doing this one in the video. So I have my four feet of thread here, and I'm going to start by picking up four 11-0, Mayuki Delicas, okay? So four of them. And I'm going to slide this down my needle. Now I like to leave a six inch tail because later on I have to go back and weave this tail into my work so it doesn't fall apart. Okay, so there's my four seed beads. Measuring on my ruler, right here is six inches. So I'm just going to hold these seed beads in place at the six inch mark and I'm going to take that ruler away. Okay, now the next color I'm going to do is the turquoise. And when you do put your colors out, make sure you lay them out in the color pattern that you want to pick up. So this is the color pattern I'm going to be repeating. Purple, teal, gray. So I have my purple here. I'm going to pick up two delicas in a different color. And now I have to weave them in this direction. So I'm actually making a circle. Okay, so passing the needle through those two beads. I'm pulling my thread through like this. Now when you pull the thread, the seed beads stack on top of each other. So after I've done that, the next thing to do is to take my needle and pass through the two seed beads I just added. Okay? So I like to hold it between my fingers so I don't lose my spot in the thread and pull it through. So now we have what looks like this. Now I'm going to pick up two more seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle through these two purple right here, okay? So holding like this in my hand, I'm going to pass through these two. Just like that. Hold this between the fingers again and pull the thread through. Now your seed beads should stack on top of either two on the bottom. So I'm going to hold this again with my finger, just like that. I'm going to take this needle and I'm going to pass through these two seed beads. Just like that, I'm making a circle. Okay, and now I'm going to pull these two threads tight. Okay, because we need these to lay flat on top of each other. Okay. I'm going to hold the tail in this hand over here, and to keep the tail out of your way, I like to wrap it a couple of times around my ring finger, and then I hold it like this between my thumb and my index. Okay, so now I can hold it with my fingernail, just like that. Okay, so sometimes your seed beads don't want to stack properly, and what I do to fix that is, is I just put my needle through one row, through all four beads, and I just wiggle it and it makes them lay flat, okay? So now I'm going to pick up my third color. So I'm going to do two seed beads. I have my two. I'm exiting out of this side, so I'm going to pass through these two seed beads, just like that, and pull the thread through. Okay, now as you can see, they stacked on top, so I'm just going to take my needle and pass it through these two here. Okay? And now I'm going to pull this tight, and this is what I have. Again, I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to pick up two more seed beads. Okay? And I'm going to pass through these two delicas. Make sure you pass through both. Okay? Just like that. And pull the thread through. So now they're stacking on top. So I'm exiting right here between these beads. And I'm going to take my needle and pass through these two delicas. OK. 
okay and then I'm going to pull this tight okay and you can see they're starting to stack better alright now I have to add my next color and I only have three colors so now I'm gonna start repeating my colors so I just did the gray and now I have to go back to the purple so I'm just gonna pick up two seed beads I'm exiting right here on the side and I'm gonna go into the center and just pass through these two delicas here okay pull my needle through and these will stack on top now I'm gonna take my needle again and I'm gonna pass through them just like this pull this between the fingers and you want to turn it in the direction that you're pulling your thread and pull your thread tight okay so now I have what looks like this now I have to add two more delicas of the same color to complete this so I'm gonna pass through these two here so I'm exiting out here and I'm going in this direction into the bottom two and I just need to go through these two okay so just like that and pull it through now I'm going to take my needle and I need to reposition it so I have to go through these two delicas pull through and pull it tight and this is what we have I love these colors they're very pretty together okay so after the purple is the turquoise so I'm gonna pick up two I'm exiting out of this bead over here and I'm going to pass through these two just like that and pull my needle through okay now it's stacked on top but I need to continue by passing through these two beads okay just like that and now I have to add two more beads right here now we kind of did the stitch in the past I don't know if you saw it or not but I did a video with an American flag and I did the square stitch net and I did two uh, seed beads at a time to make it a quicker process okay so I just picked up my two seed beads I'm going to pass through these two here these two purple ones okay hold it still and pull it through once you get a longer piece beat it up it's easier to hold on to because at the beginning it's kind of uh, tough to hold on to because it it's so small so I just went through there and I'm gonna go through these two so that's what it looks like okay hold this between your fingers and pull it tight this is what we have now I just did the turquoise and the next color is gray so I'm gonna pick up two gray exiting out this side bead I'm gonna go through these two okay just like that pull the thread through they're stacking on top of each other so now I'm going to pass through the two I just added carefully don't skip any seed beads because that does happen you'll see the uh, exposed thread that you did it and your bead will be popping out funny okay so I just added those two now I have to add two more the same color okay so I'm exiting out here in the center so I'm going to take my needle and pass through these two seed beads now it's stacking on top and I'm going to go through these again okay and pull this through and sometimes when I pull the thread it'll go like this to me the loop will wrap around this and I'll pull it and the thread is wrapped around this see how it's doing that so whenever you pull it through make sure that it's doing it correctly so like that you don't want to see the thread wrapped all the way around your piece okay so I just did my third color and now I'm gonna start over my color again so the next color is the purple now in the three inch barrettes I actually did five colors so you could do as many as you want okay so I just picked up two seed beads I'm exiting out the side what I'm gonna do is pass through two more seed beads okay just like this and pull it through it's gonna stack on top and then I'm gonna pass through those two again 
Okay, and now I have to pick up two more. Okay, so exiting out the center, I'm going to go in this direction through these two delicas. Okay, make sure it's stacked on top. And then I'm going to pass to the two I just added and pull this through. Okay, pull it tight. And this is what we have. Now this is so cute. Can you imagine this as a beaded ring? This would be an adorable beaded ring. It's a lot of fun to make. Okay, so I just did the purple. The next color to do is the teal. And as you can see, these beads don't look straight, but don't worry about that because uh, they do eventually straighten out. And you can straighten them out with your fingernails just by wiggling the piece. Okay, so I want to make sure that's tight. And now I'm going to pick up my next color, which is the teal, or turquoise. Okay, so picking up two, I'm exiting out here. I'm going to go around through these two seed beads. Let these stack, and then I'm going to pass through these two again. Hold it between your fingers and pull the thread through. Now I have to pick up two more seed beads. And I'm going to pass through these two delicas right here. Pull the wire through, the needle through. And now I have to go through these two here. Pull this through. Make sure it does it correctly. And there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm going to pick up two seed beads in my next color, the gray. I'm exiting out here. I'm going to pass through these two seed beads. Pull my thread through. The seed beads stack. And then I'm going to take the needle and pass through these two needles. And I just skipped one. Okay. Just like that. I'm passing through them. And now I'm pulling it tight between my fingers. Now I just have two more seed beads to pick up. Okay, I'm going to take my needle, exiting out here, I'm going to pass through these two. Just like that, pull the needle through. Okay, so I'm exiting out the teal ones, or the turquoise, and now I'm going to go in this direction. So I have to go through these two C beads right here. I'm pulling the needle through and pulling it tight. So this is pretty simple to do. You're just going to keep going, repeating this stitch over and over till it is the same length as your barrette. So I like to lay it on like this. And I do like to have one row of C beads hanging over the edge. I'll show you on a finished one. This one here, actually this one isn't like that very much. This one is. This one here, you can see the C beads are hanging over the edge just a little bit. Okay. So keep going, repeating this stitch. It's very simple. If you have any trouble at all, just rewind the video. So I kept on weaving, and now my piece is long enough to go on top. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that my beading is covering the entire top. So I just put this up to here, just to make sure it's the correct length. I hold it against it. Okay, and then I look at this side, and as you can see, here on my left side, you can see the purple sea beads just a little bit, and then over here you can see the gray. So that means that the barrette will not be seen once once it's stitched on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and right now my tail is exiting out the gray sea beads, and I'm going to weave my needle through the turquoise ones. So I'm going to go through all four of them and pull my thread through. And now I'm going to attach this to here. And what I like to do is I like to attach it to this little hole here on the ends because it secures this to here better. If I just wrap this around the end, the thread would slip off. So on this one I already did, you could see that I have this here attached to the hole. Okay, so there's no exposed thread because it's not slipping off. So, I'm now going to take this. Hold it up to the barrette, like this, okay? 
I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pass through this hole here. Okay, so I'm wrap wrapping my thread around the barrette. And I like to hold this like here. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pass my needle right here through these four C beads, okay? Between the two turquoise and between the two gray. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that through. Okay, then I'm going to lay this on top of my barrette. And I'm going to pull this. Okay, so now you can see I have one side attached. Okay, so now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pass through these two turquoise C beads in the center. If you want, you can let go of the barrette and just hold on to the C beads, okay? So I got it through. Now I'm going to hold it on top and it's a little tricky to keep it together because it's silky. Okay, I'm going to wiggle my needle through. I'm going to go slowly because I don't want any knots. Okay, there I go. I'm attached to the side. Pull this snug. This is what I have so far. Okay, now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pass down these beads right here, okay? And actually I can't go that way because I have threads there, so I'll go right here between these four C beads. Okay, so between those, then I'm coming out the hole in the middle, pulling my needle through, okay? I'm going to turn this over here. I am going to pull this a little snug because it might loosen up on me. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to wrap this thread around this metal here. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to sew again back through all four of these turquoise seed beads. Okay. So pull this through, gently wiggle it. Make sure my tail's not caught in there. Okay. When I pull through, you can see there that it's attaching. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull this tight. All right. Now we've got it connected. Okay. You want to make sure this is to the end, just a little bit hanging over. Okay. Now looking at this, you could see I'm exiting out of the turquoise seed beads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thread, I'm going to wrap it under, and I'm going to take my wire, or my needle I mean, and go through this row of purple. And I'm going to pass through all four purple beads. Okay? I'm going to pull it through slowly so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? So see this loop of thread there? It's catching my barrette. So I'll slide this down. You better see. Okay, pulling it tight. Now you can see that I have a, a piece of thread that's straight going this way. Then I have the two bands here. Okay, so now I'm exiting out the purple. And what I need to do... Oh, actually, before I move on, I would like to go back to this here. So when you're attaching the um, end to here, instead of going through the beads I did like on this one, this one I have four rows of C beads. This one I have six. What I did is, I, you know, I came out these ones here in the edge, I went straight through all of these, and once I came out the side here of the red ones, what I would do is I would go through and come out here, and I would go through these two beads in the middle. And then I would come out the bottom, go around, and then I would go through all six of them. So I was connecting on the two C beads on the side. On this one, I connected onto one C bead on the side because I have a row of four. Okay, so back to this one now. Right now, I'm exiting out the purple one. And as you can see, this little hinge is in my way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around 
and I'm gonna go through the gray seed bead on the side so wrapping this thread around I'm gonna go through the gray and to make sure you pass through both all, all four you can put your finger down like this to make sure it's flat and then you can sew through all four okay so now I'm attaching this row just like that okay so you could see here the gray so what it looks like over here now this hinge is in my side and I can't or it's on my side now and I can't really wrap around it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to weave through the C beads until I pass that section so exiting out here I'm gonna go through the turquoise so it's like I'm doing a u-turn okay so straight through them see that Okay, now looking over here, I just passed the hinge with my thread. My thread is now right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, drop it through my barrette, like this. Pull it through, okay? Now, remember, you have to look back at where you're exiting from, because you have to know which color to go through next. So right now I'm exiting out of the turquoise, so that means I have to pass through the purple seed beads. So I'm going to go through all purple. Okay, pull it through. Careful you don't catch the spring right here when you're wrapping this around. If you want, you could open this up and take the spring out, but I just leave it in there because it does get bent when you're taking it in and out. Okay, so right now I'm exiting out the purple. I'm going to take my needle, drop it through here, pull all the thread through so I don't get caught. The last color I came through was the purple, so now I have to pass through the gray. So I'm going to sew through all the gray and pull it through. Okay. And again, I just exited through the gray. So now I'm going to drop my needle in my barrette, pull the thread through. I just went through the gray. So now I have to pass through my next color, the turquoise. Okay. So pull that through. Pull it snug. You don't have to pull it super tight, but do make sure it's snug. I'm going to take my needle, drop it down here again, pull the thread through, and I'm going to sew through the next color, the purple. Okay, pull that through. Again, drop the needle down, pull the thread through, pass to the next color. I'm exiting out the purple, so now I'm going to go through the gray. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, so again, I'm going to drop my needle down grab my needle, pull the thread through, and go through the turquoise. Okay, drop the needle down, grab it, and through the next color, which is my purple. Drop the needle down to the barrette, pull the thread through, and go through the gray. Okay, and pull this through, and again, make sure it's snug. So keep going and doing this. It's very simple. If any of this confuses you, just rewind the video. I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to show you how to get around this part and then I'm going to show you how to do the end over here. So keep going and doing this until you get right here to our buttons. Okay? So keep going repeating these steps. So I kept on going and now I'm all the way down here and it does look like I, ha like I have to make one more wrap. So right now I'm exiting out of the turquoise I would have to wrap around and go through these purple so get this tail out of my way I'm gonna drop my needle down and I'm gonna make one more wrap through these purple seed beads make sure they're flat okay pull that okay so that was my last wrap that I was able to do so again I'm at this hinge part the button part where we push the barrette open and I can't do any more wraps because it's in the way so I'm just gonna do that u-turn thing and I'm gonna go out of these beads straight through the gray now with the larger barrette when you do this part on the larger barrette you actually have to go through like three rows so with this one here you could see I have a gap of three beads so what I did is I like 
I came out this one and then I went through the black and then when I came out the black I made another U-turn through the red and then I was able to start connecting it again to the barrette. Okay, so that's how you would do the larger one. Alright, so right now I just went through the gray. Okay, and I'm now at the spot where I can connect it. So I'm going to get this tail on my way. And I'm going to look at this better. Okay, so I'm coming out the gray. So I'm going to go in through the turquoise. So out the gray into the turquoise. Making a wrap around. Okay. So right now I'm exiting out the turquoise and I need to pass through here. So exiting out the turquoise, I'm going to take my needle, go through this hole, and I'm going to come out right here on my barrette. Okay? Because I have to connect it to this end like I did at the beginning. Okay, so right there's my first wrap around. I'm right here. I'm going to pass through these two turquoise ones in the center just like this I'm just passing through those two okay so pull that through okay now I'm exiting right here so I'm gonna go down between these four C beads and I have to go in at an angle so I come out this hole okay so do that pull the thread through now I'm down here. Now I have to make a wrap around. So get that tail in my way and I'm going to pass through these four turquoise seed beads. And I just caught this button so I'm going to take it off. Okay, just like that. Okay, we just did it. So I have a tail over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pass through these purple ones on the edge. Then I'm going to sew back through these turquoise ones. And I don't like to tie any knots right here with this thread because I still have to tie knots with this one. And if I tied knots with this one and I want to go back through these beads with this tail, I wouldn't be able to pass through them because the knots would be clogging my holes. So I'm just going to pass this down through maybe five rows and then I could start tying knots with this thread. Okay, so right now I'm exiting out the turquoise. So now I'm going to go through the gray. I'm going to pass through these purple ones. I'm going to go through these turquoise here. Okay. So now I'm through the barrette enough to start tying knots. And I actually don't tie a lot of knots in this because this is the square stitch and there's so much thread passing through it that you actually don't need a lot of lot knots. So right now I'm exiting out here and I'm just going to grab a thread. And you can either grab a thread by taking your needle, and right here I have this thread going this direction. I can grab that thread by going like this, okay, and grabbing it. Or I can grab one of these side threads by going like this and picking one of them up. But right now I just have this one snagged, so I'm going to do this thread. So again, i got to put get that tail in my way. So gently wiggle your needle through. I have a loop, and I'm going to pass through this loop twice. Okay. And pull this knot down. Pull it very tight. And this is what we have. Okay, so I just... I just exit out the turquoise and tied that knot. So now I'm going to go in through my next color, which is the gray. So I'm just going to sew through the gray, pull it, and the knot kind of disappears. You don't really see it, okay? So now I'm going to do the same thing over here with this one. I have to grab a thread, and like I said, you can grab one of these threads that are going this way, or you can grab one that's connected to the seed beads. Whatever is easiest is what I try to do. Okay, I just got that one. So we'll go that through, make a loop, and go through it twice. Okay. Pull this down. Now I'm going to go into the next color, which is my purple. Okay. Pull that 
through. So I would tie like maybe three or four knots and then with all of the rest of my tail I would go through this whole thing weaving back and forth going as far as I can and um you know I try to use up as much of this thread as I can possible. So once I get done with this thread I take my needle off the end I put it onto this thread and I just do the same thing. I weave back and forth here and I tie half hitch knots. I tie my knots here and on this side because remember five rows in five rows in we don't have any knots so you want to tie most of your knots with this thread right here in these five rows okay so just keep going tying your half hitch knots in like I said you don't have to tie a lot of knots to this because there's a lot of thread passes you just want to use up a lot of your thread and reinforce this a lot and you're done This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if you didn't see my first and my second barrette videos, I will leave links to both of those videos down there in the description bar. And also, if you want the material list for how to make this barrette small like these, I will leave the material list down there in the description bar. So make sure you check that out. So please, like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry I've made from my videos on my Facebook page. And you can also now follow me on Pinterest. So this is it. Thanks for watching.